Hello and welcome to Brain Critic, Anchor TV's own movie critic show. I'm your host, Brian Christie, and here with me are my usual suspect co-hosts. We've got, right behind me to my left, the lovely Miss Carissa Carpentieri. Hello. And also to my other left is the one and only Justin Frankie. You only have Woo. one left. Two lefts, in this case, because no. there's two of you. So we'll call it He's on the right. two lefts. All right. I'm on your right. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh, jeez. <laughs> on today's show, we are going to do the movie that is known as Rango. This movie first appeared in 2011, starring the one and only Johnny Depp. <laughs> so. There's one more than Johnny Depp. Well, it stars Johnny yeah. Depp. He's like the main. Look, it's Johnny Depp. But Johnny Depp in the movie, and it'll instantly be a huge hit. Oh. Although, this one wasn't a huge, huge hit, but we'll get to that later. So, first, Willy Wonka. we'll start. Let's not go there. <laughs> first, we'll start off. We're just talking about some of the first impressions of the movies, like we usually do. Talk about, like, what we thought of the movies just based on first commercials and trailers that we were seeing and stuff like that. We'll toss it first over to Carissa. What do you want to know? I just explained it. <laughs> First impressions of the film based on like commercials, trailers, all that good fun stuff. It seemed like a pretty fun comedy. I mean, at first I was kind of like, oh, this is just going to be like some lame Disney cartoon movie. And I'm not going to enjoy it. And I don't want to see it. But then when he made me go see it, I enjoyed it a lot. It was quite funny. Especially with Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp made it all the better. I love how she says, I made her go see it. Didn't you pick this film? No, Justin picked this film, didn't you? I haven't. I didn't watch it until oh. two hours ago. You Maybe I, did, I did film. pick this film. Okay, I can't remember who picked the film for this show anymore. All I right. suggested it because we were talking about it in Psych. That's right. No, we're paying attention to Psych. What are you talking about? Anyway, yes, first right. impressions of the film. Um, wow, this is this is actually kind of a challenge to think that think far back because I really don't remember the commercials all too well. Oh, year but ago. When? <laughs> yeah, so far back. But um, <laughs> what I remember it. Yeah, it looked like your casual Pixar film. It just it looked as if, you know, talking animals, talking animals wearing clothing that you'd only find in humans and never on animals and doing human things. And honestly, it looked like... Humanly. It looked humanly. Yes, indeed it did. <laughs> but honestly, I, I'm never one for the whole talking animals thing. Really? Yeah. No. Just, it, it doesn't work for me. See, in this case, I didn't mind it too much because it was... When it's... An actual animated film, it's not as bad. It's just when you get into, like, the Beethoven, Wonder Dog, Wonder Dog movies that it does get irritating. That stick, yeah. that stick does get old. Still, I, 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 just, I just don't like talking animals. Talking animals don't like you either. No, well, I not. like them to an extent. I mean, they're not too horrible, but, but like, in, in this, the Beethoven sense, it's kind of like, In this yeah, film, nah. it worked. Yes. It worked for this film because it's like they're... They were animals, but they were being humans. They were acting as humans. They weren't just being animals that, hey, look, we can talk and we're smart. Yeah. It's not we're that normal animals, we talk. annoying sketch like they've used in yeah, a thousand Yeah, it was, it was definitely, it, it felt different than your normal talking animal movie. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a specific genre of movies, but I'm going to... Genre. It's a cliche. That's what I call it. It's an overused cliche. But, um... I guess. I think animation puts that in a different category, though. And, um, let's just start, um... I want to talk about the animation in this film, but let's start off just going over with, um... Start off with just the story and the general plot of it. You saw the most recent of us, so why don't you start are it off? Are we spoiling before I get in this? Are Warning, the show contains spoilers. There okay. we go. <laughs> just to make sure. Yeah. That should probably be something that you put on screen before the we'll, opening We'll work on that. We'll work um. on that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on those. Uh, I liked it, the plot. Hmm? That's it? No other comment? It was pretty interesting. I, I, it, it, it entertained me, you know? It was cute. Watching the trailer, watching the trailer, I thought it was just going to be you know animals in a western flick that happens to be animated. But the opening kind of came from left field. Seeing mm. how it was just oh he gets stuck there oh he's not bored oh that makes it a totally different thing. I also love how he wants to be a star mm. like he wa like yeah. he wants to be an actor throughout the entire thing. Mm. That that made me laugh. Yeah, it was that interesting. I agree with you, like, the beginning, the very beginning, I was kind of like, because I saw the trailers and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, it, it's a Western-style thing, okay, and that's a tr at the beginning, I'm like, what is this? And then I was like, oh, okay, I get it, he's an actor, he, and I get stoned, and I'm like, all right, he's going to pretend to be the sheriff, I'm like, okay, I mean, it's it, it's kind of predictable to see what's going to happen, it, the plot isn't completely original, it's kind of like, okay, you can kind of see where it's going, 
but it still keeps you hooked. There's still something about it that keeps you hooked to it. It has similar story, but different details. Yeah. yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Similar story, different details. I mean, it definitely kept me kind of hooked, you know, because with every, I hate to generalize, bleh, generalize this, but with every, like, giant debt movie, it's never quite as what it seems to be. Like, you think it's going this one way, and then it'll take you in a different way, but it'll still end up in the same kind of ending. Prime example, On Stranger Tides. You think it's going to be a good movie, but then it's not. <laughs> well, how about Pirates of the Caribbean 4, when somebody, somebody thought somewhere that was a good idea? <laughs> uh, that is 4, so. isn't it? The, the, it is. Yeah, there is a 4, <laughs> because Disney... No, likes. On Stranger, Stranger Tides, Tides is oh. 4. Oh, derp. See, I didn't even go see 4, so that shows... That shows my knowledge. Anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, Disney and Cash Cow. <laughs> anyway, which, um, this was actually, weirdly enough, this was Nickelodeon. Yeah. It was one of the big ones for this was one. It? Oh, I thought this it was This was Disney. actually a big yeah, Nickelodeon I, I, film. I, I thought it was going to be, wait, hang on, this isn't Pixar? I it's like, it's not Pixar. What? It's not, <laughs> um, what's the other big anime? And then it ended up having better animation and design than any Pixar film I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's so much better anime animation as a whole but it's far more detailed it's yeah that's one of the things that impressed I, me about this film it was just I the detail work animation. in the animation was so good and i think that's partially has to do um with the production and how they had filmed this movie but i don't want to jump into that yet i want to just kind of finish up with the story and the characters mm -hmm. first so okay. um kind of another story good story kind of seen before i like um, beans 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 was the I was it still was trying the to... girl. She, 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 little girl, right? No. Oh, no. It was the, the, she was the love the interest. Female. Yeah. I think she was also a lizard, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they were all pretty much lizards, except like a couple of rats and moles. No, there like they were, they were some... In Mary Turtle? Characters in there. I just didn't know what... Hmm. What, <laughs> <they> <laughs> what they were, yeah. That was the one thing. Like, although it was detailed, you kind of sat there and went, what is, what is that a lizard? You? Is that a Especially at the beginning where it's the toad that's trying to tell Rango to disguise himself. But you never realize he's a toad until he actually stands. He just looks like a rock that's talking to him. <laughs> it was a toad? I thought it was like a chameleon of some sort. No, it was a toad. It was, was, a, it was toad. a frog of some sort. Yeah. Yep. There's a random frog in the middle of the desert. I'm not sure how much sense that makes, but I'm not an animal person. Mm. So I wouldn't know. But, um... Yeah, that was, being, being she was a really interesting character. She was kind of funny. Um, I thought Johnny Depp did a really good job. I think this is probably one of his... He hasn't done too many animated characters, but um, this is definitely one of the best ones I've ever seen him do. This one I thought was really, really good. It, it ju He just fit the role, I think, of Rango. He just... He just seemed to fit that role really well. I don't know. Yeah, I, I definitely see what you mean. He, um... He had that sense about him, like, this egotistical little lizard. And then Johnny Depp with it is just like, yes. He really didn't seem egotistical. A little bit. I don't, seemed, I don't think it was ego. He seemed uh, quick on his feet, more or less. Yeah. That little lizard was smart. The way he, the way he handled all the crowds, especially especially when the water went missing. Oh yeah. Yeah. The way he handled that situation, just props to you guy. Like he he did it well, and it was really well written. Yeah, it was it was really well. It was very convincing. He was, it was like he was being a good actor, being an actor. I think that's why Johnny did, Johnny Depp did such a good job because he was basically he was an actor playing an actor. Yeah. So there was very little acting involved because he basically mm. had to, in a way sense just be himself. No, okay, I'm sorry. To I'm not too familiar with Johnny Depp's work, but I'm just going to roll with you here. Yeah, <laughs> I've just, uh, I've seen a lot of his stuff. But not so much of his older, older stuff. I mean, my sister's like a, a nut. praises him, so she probably knows <laughs> him better than I do. But, um, yeah, it's like, he's just a really good actor, so like, it was kind of like he was more or less just playing himself as an actor. So, it was really interesting. But, um, moving on to, um, some of the other characters. I loved all the different characters in the village. Or yeah. town. They were the town actually felt alive. Yeah. It's you learn so much about like each little characters. They all felt like real people. They all had like the little quirks and everything like that. They were just so real. They were just very, very, very real to me. And I love that about the town. I love any movie that has great characters in it, especially good development with the characters. Um and it, I loved it. I was eh about the mayor. 
I mean, he was... I don't know, some of the mayor I just didn't really particularly care for. He seemed... he's a villain! Oh, it's not that he was a villain, I think he was... I don't know, there was something about him... Oh, I there wasn't... are plenty of villains, Carissa, that I... you love. Yeah. I mean, I love a lot not of villains. Me. Really? Yes, really. Villains are meant to not be liked. I disagree. You don't love Darth Vader? No. I love Darth Vader. She seemed like one episode of Star Wars, something we need to fix. Only, only one episode, and he didn't seem like a very nice guy. So, yeah. <laughs> but, um. If you only knew. <laughs> but, um. No, it was, he was just like, well, I didn't care for him too much. It wasn't that he was a villain, just as a character, I just thought he was meh. But, I mean, he was so good, but, I don't know, he seemed too. I don't know if the word stereotypical. Seemed, he, seemed, seemed, he, he seemed too two D. He seemed too much like your TV tropes dot com mayor. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's it. He's too cliched, I guess. Maybe would be the word for him. He's just a little bit cliched, but um, which was something I loved about the film was like it 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 made fun of a lot of the Western cliches, like um at one point like did um I think it was like after the was it after the it was after the bank was robbed, or was it after some somewhere in that time. It was like, what do we do? We ride. They all just start riding off, and they start to sit and they go, wait, where are we going? And they just walk back to town, because so like, yeah, we don't know where we're going. But, um, and that was just a fun little cliche that they kind of poked fun at. Um, it, it, it was also kind of cool when they brought that up again, after they were on that journey. And they were talking to the, uh, I don't know, I want to say it's a crow that was playing as an Indian of sorts. Yeah, he was some sort of crow. Yeah, and, and he just knew where he just knew where everything was yeah and I, I I'm trying to remember specifically it's when they were trying to track down I'm gonna just say the mole people no. yeah it was all the, it was like the moles yeah, yeah. and and he, he he first caught on to their he first caught on to their trail and they all kind of look towards Rango and and, they, and they're all kind of lost and and they're just trying to say hey so what do we do now we ride. We ride. <laughs> and then, they, and then they get all the turkeys. They start riding off into the sunset. That was a cool scene. <laughs> he did that a couple of times. He's just like, we ride. And they just start riding. <laughs> they even kind of made fun of the whole thing of how there's always like the one you gotta make fun of it because like, Frank was like, oh, how'd you figure that out, dude? Like, your God saying something to you and stuff like that. And he's just like, no, the dirt, it's, you, you can see them right there. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Which um, I've, I've seen a couple movies do that. They kind of like fun of the whole thing. How there's always like that one guy who. Can track by talking to the gods. He's just like, no, you can just see it right there. Oh yeah, the uh, prince and the princess bride. <laughs> yep, that that was one of it. Um, it, I always I always like when they make fun of that because it is kind of a weird troll, but it's it's, a, it's fun to poke fun at it. Mm -hmm. Um, which I enjoyed. It. This was a film that kind of poked fun at westerns in a good taste. Um, which is weird. I decided to kind of take this time to poke fun at westerns, considering. You don't see them make westerns much anymore, unless they're remakes. True. Well, um, I thought that was interesting. There was something else about the story, the plot. I wanted to bring up what it was. Um. Oh yeah. The, there's the um, the overall like kind of like theme behind it, the whole moral behind it, the whole thing of like being true to yourself, finding yourself. True I your loved heart. it. Oh jeez, she would go there. Heart. But um, I love the way they did it. Um, cause I mean we've seen we've seen some movies mm -hmm. like that before. They kind of did this whole finding yourself sort of thing, being true to yourself sort of thing. But I think this this one did it differently, and I like the way they did it. It was a very unique way of kind of telling the story, more or less. Or just kind of, like, finding out who you are and who you're meant to be. Mm. Yeah. Um, I liked it. I, I like the fact that this movie was kind of a bit of a drama. It was. It, 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 the jokes were kind of few and far in between. Yeah. It, it, the whole the whole feeling of the film kind of felt lighthearted, and you know, especially especially when Rango very first met the mayor, and mm -hmm. he had that whole speech about as long as we have this water, the town has hope, mm -hmm. and you could you could kind of feel that hope and how lighthearted everyone was, mm -hmm. and then how destroyed everyone was when the, when the water left. Yeah, and then and then after that immediate fall, they bring it right back up when when Rango goes, okay, mm -hmm. is there anyone here at all? That can operate any sort of firearm, and all the townsfolk is just like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of agree how it did that. It's like even the schoolgirl, very... <laughs> even the schoolgirl, yeah, pulls out the little gun. Or the... Then like later on, she just pulls out. She just has this big shotgun. I, mm -hmm. I love that. I don't even remember her name. I don't even know if they I mentioned her name. Little girl. But um, she was funny. I saw her in the 
I, they showed her in the trailer, and I'm just like, okay, you're going to be like a little comic relief for this whole thing. And I was like, yep, you are. You're hysterical. I love you. Um, but yeah, the thing about the plot of this movie was that... Um, wait, you looking for it behind me? Yeah. Um, the thing I loved about this movie, it, it was only like an hour and like... The exact time is hiding. Um, like 40 minutes or something like that. No, 107 minutes. It was only like it was an hour and a half long. Yeah. It doesn't feel like an hour and a half long. No. It feels like you're sitting through a good two hour or longer movie. It's this... so much goes on and it's so well paced. You you think you've been in the, sitting there watching for so long. I remember when I, I was sitting there watching it, I finished it. I'm like, that was it? I'm like, that seems so much longer. Um, And it, it just, what? It was. It was okay. so well made. There's nothing it else to be was. said about it. It was a really well made. Um, moving on to the, might as well move on to production at this point. One of the things that first struck me as I was starting to watch this film, I was just sitting there going, I'm like, it's so detailed. It's such detailed animation. I was really impressed. And apparently I love the phone it. thinks so too. Uh, <laughs> what I'm sure I looked at, like I could see the scales on Rango. Like it was pretty awesome. All yeah. the, like wrinkles and stuff on his face oh it you was can so see all the wrinkles on their face you can see the scales on everybody. i loved like, all, so all the little details that kind of made all the characters more human even the hawk yeah he had the, the, he had the, the, the little gauntlet over his beak that was cool yeah mm -hmm. the hawk I, I love the hawk i thought the, the hawk so was really cool looking hawk. i love how he knew how to use the vending machine that, 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 was, <laughs> that was one of the things i'm like i, I was watching i'm like the hawk happens to know it. he's okay i guess we'll he let that snacks before I guess. I'm like, that's one of those things I'm like, all right, that's weird. I guess I can let that one slide. I was, I was like, all right, Paul can know how to use a vending machine, I guess. I don't know. But I, it worked. The deep, that was one of my favorite things. The animation was so good. It was so clean. Very, very, very detailed. Um, to the point that when it got um, at the ending scene where he meets with, um, what's the dude's name? That was like the cowboy. He's basically your like, stereotypical cowboy hero. I, I forget the act. I, I don't know if it says it right here. My lovely little cheat sheet of IMDb. Mm. But, um, I can't think of his name. Uh, no, I don't think it says. Just because I can't remember if he actually says the dude's name. But, um, it was like, I couldn't, I was looking at that scene where it's like he's meeting, like, the actor. He was some sort of actor from Westerns. I'm not an expert at Western in any way, shape, or form. But I was like, I was sitting there, I was looking at him, I'm just sitting there going, I'm like, I cannot tell if that's actually just a real person, or if he's animated too. I couldn't tell. I, I want to say he was animated, but it's like, I was just sitting there, I'm like, I can't tell. I'm like, that's how good the animation was, to the point that when they actually brought in a real person, you couldn't actually tell if it was real or actually animated in. I enjoyed all the little plays on the clothing that they had. Did, did, you, did, you, did you notice what Rango's first sheriff suit was. It was a pajama onesie. <laughs> I do remember, I noticed that. I thought yeah. that was funny. That was hysterical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sheriff Hopper, pajama onesie. Yeah. All right. But, um, yeah, overall, even that, that, like, just the costumes that they had on them were very good, very yeah. convincing. Um, it's like the animation of this film, I'm like, this, can, this rivals Pixar and how well they did this film. I mean, Pixar's great. I love Pixar animation. They're not as like fine point with detail but i've never it, seen them do anything with scales so. it blew them away <laughs> and man, yeah. in I, my opinion <laughs> it did do it did fantastic i thought the animation Phenomenal, was so good yeah. that's why i thought um imdb only gave this what 7.4 according to what they put up yeah. 7.4 that's a bit surprising it's, it is I, I was like this was a film that like it was getting a lot of hype because nickelodeon was publicizing it of course the whole thing of Johnny Depp is in it. If Johnny Depp is in it, everyone instantly wants to see it. Well, but it's yeah. like, it came out and you didn't hear much after that. It just kind of like, okay, it just kind of died down. Which I thought was weird because I didn't hear much about it. I wanted to see it. I heard it was funny. <laughs> Same thing happened for the Hunger Games, dude. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That well, had a reason to die off, in my opinion. But Why are you surprised it's a 7.4? That's a pretty high score. It is, um... You figure, yeah, at in least... Terms of an, in terms of animation, animated movies, I guess it is. Because animated movies, no matter what, never do score high. Which is so dumb. It is. I, I don't like that it is. Because animation is a great art form. It's like, it's the same. It doesn't get as appreciated as it should. In my experience, I have cried and... And, 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 and anime has made me cry more than live action shows. <laughs> yeah. That's a truth. Absolutely. Yeah. Have you ever watched Clannad? No. That show took what I thought was my manliness, 
took it out in front of me and ripped it to shreds. <laughs> and I was, uh, no. No. No, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen any animation that made me cry. No. One movie that has actually made me sob like a baby is Bridget Terabithia, and I refuse to watch it because every time I do, I cry. Titanic. No, absolutely no live action film has ever, ever, ever made me sob. As much as Clement. Have you seen Bridget Terabithia? Yes, I have. It didn't make me sob at all. I felt oh, bad, but uh, that made me cry. But um, I didn't even bring this up in the product. Uh, I think there was some part of the reason why the animation was so good and convincing was because if you look at the way they actually did this film, when they first actually like recorded it, they actually had all the actors like acting out the actual scenes. Oh. They actually like kind of built the sets. They acted out all the scenes, and then the animators basically took that and model the animation around that, which is probably what, part, most of the reason why it's so convincing. I I almost want to say that you're wrong. Why? Why you say that? Well, th look at Rango, for example. Mm -hmm. His model. The, th yeah. the 3D model itself. Four fingers yeah. and facial features that a human being simply does not have. Well, naturally, but I mean, they use, like, they base it off, like, the facial experience, little movements and stuff that the actors made in character. And then the animators used that to mimic those onto the characters when they were creating the animation and actually going but through the process. I still think that, well, they obviously couldn't have motion captured the mouth or the or the or the brow or especially the eye. Yeah. Which are like, hey, I don't think they even really. So, I don't even. I don't think they motion captured it per se. They 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 couldn't. What could they have motion captured it with? I don't know. There's probably something they could have done. Well, it's, I, See, I don't think they actually motion captured it. I think they just kind of filmed them acting out the scenes, and the animators use that and say, "Okay, let's replicate." Oh, okay. Yeah. I see what you're trying to say. And I think that's what. Okay. Like, so, well, I, I saw a, a couple clips of them doing it, and it's like they didn't have like the big green shoots and all the little bulbs, bulbs all over it yeah. to do it. It was just they just sat there and they just built like the portions of the sets, and they just sat there and said, "Okay, let's act out the scene," and they just acted out the scene like they were filming a live action thing. That's right. Cool. And then I think from there, that's when the animators just took it and said, "Okay." Let's mimic their mimic it and get like all those little facial expressions they make, the little gestures, um, just kind of like how the costumes moved around and stuff like that. And um, that's kind of like how they animated this film. It was a very like different style of animation and filming. I don't know if there's a name for it because I don't know of any film that's done it like this. So, um, but it worked really, really well, and it really made these animated characters just seem so much more lifelike. Yeah, definitely. And I think that I think that's what in the end helped this film be as realistic as it was and help them get be as detailed as they could because they had like real live action stuff to base it off of and say this is how we look in real life so let's replicate it. Honestly, as far as animation goes, uh, animation and detail goes for mm. that matter, it kind of rivals the animated Beowulf. Do you remember that thing? I've actually never seen that. You've never seen it? I've actually yet to see that. Honestly, look at the trailers. It looks like live action. Really? It seriously looks like live action. Mm. And it's not like... um. I didn't find out that it was animated. Until long. Um, it was good? It was good? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite animated movies ever. Beowulf? Oh, yeah. Beowulf is fantastic. I, I had to chime in. Well, <laughs> but Ryan, now producer the back there. The, the, the writer, the, the actual original story is better, but it was a great film regardless. Yeah. Mm. I, I have not read that book. I have it lying around at home. I should I read it. Mm. But um, I think we've just covered about everything on this. I'm pretty sure we've already hit close to 30 minutes. I'm being my usual self and not keeping track of what time. What time did we start? How are we doing with time? Uh, oh, wow. 23 minutes? Oh, so we still got a little bit yeah, of time. Yeah, we still have seven minutes left, dude. Wow, that's impressive. Usually by this point, we're already like, still have like 10 more things to talk about. I'm like, oh, we're already at the end of the show. Um, um, so yeah, the talk. animation in this film was so awesome. Yeah, how, long, how much longer can we talk about that? <laughs> um, it's like, that's the other thing that kind of surprised me. This film didn't get as huge as it did just because of how, just because like with Johnny Depp in it, you figured everyone just would have been going nuts about it. Well, critics are always jerks oh this is true and amongst, <laughs> amongst other well, adjectives i cannot say on this show but well, we're kind of we're we're, we're we're critics and we're not as jerky well we're kind of i don't know depends did you like the I, hunger games then it, 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 <laughs> it, 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 we're called brain critic but we're really brain talk about movies that we actually enjoy yeah <laughs> 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, um, who's banging at the door? <laughs> many, many visitors. That's we're well loved. Will do. Um. Time to rate, Brian. Yeah, pretty much get to that point. All right, final. Let's do this. Final thoughts on the film and final rating, one out of ten, like we've been doing the past couple weeks. Who first? Um, ladies first. Cool. So, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you funny guy. Overall, uh, I enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> that's our course. Uh, uh -huh. Overall, I enjoyed all of the characters. I really enjoyed Rango, and the detail was phenomenal. You know, the, I don't want to say acting, but the you know, animation itself, how they moved through it, was pretty awesome. The story was good. Everything was pretty good. And I felt really, really, really awful when the hawk got crushed by the water tower. That was funny. Really awful. I was like, that, that was hawk. funny. Yeah, I know the water tower is dry. <laughs> it was. It was That's a sand. point. That was great. But yeah, so I give it, I'm going to say a nine. Nine out of ten. You stop that. <laughs> Over to you, Nine Squeaky. out of ten? All right. Justin. As he sits there and squeezes his chair to great, irritate great. me. <laughs> um, I enjoyed this film a lot especially when the mole people came out riding on the bats <laughs> and, the, and all of a sudden it's World War II. And then, that was amazing. <laughs> that, that was the, by far my my favorite scene of this entire film. Especially with like the uh, the old, I want to say, mouse at the cliff. They told him specifically to give the signal if something ever went wrong, all of a sudden they're surrounded, and you just see him doing his thing up on the cliff. Hey, what's that? Uh, I think that's supposed to be the signal. <laughs> Danger's coming, really. Thank you. <laughs> that was fantastic. Overall, I gotta give this movie uh, an 8.5. Um, while I did, I did enjoy this film, I would have much appreciated it if it was just a stylized western with humans honestly that was my one beef with it that would have got that would have gotten it up to the that would have gotten the 1.6 if it was if it was if it was people i just i i love animation and i love all types of animation but talking animals just never worked for me so what would be your final rating on this then i just said 8.4 8.4 oh 8.4 um, somehow that missed that's me. why i said if it final was final 1.6 that oh, okay that. If it got, mm -hmm. it would get the actual. Even if it was just animated people, that would have been fine. Yeah, but I don't know. personally, I don't think that would have never worked. Um, I think it just would have been awkward Too, if they did that. Yeah. Why well, said that's why I said a stylized western. I'm not, I'm not sure. I would have to see. It. Hey, I'd it, have to it, see how it looked. It worked for Moulin Rouge. Who? Uh, uh, style? I got uh, and if they did, I don't know, if they did Rango like that, I probably would not like this film. To be honest, I wouldn't be able to take it as seriously. I like but, um, the way it was. was Alright, so my final thoughts on it. Um, excellent animation. Um, excellent. Great great acting. Well, voice acting. Um, the, the, the morals and the lessons behind this film, I think, are just really great. We haven't seen a film that's really touched upon these kind of little stuff in a while. Um, so I think it was really great just on that alone. Go check out this film. It's on Netflix. Look it up on there or whatever other means it is that you happen to watch movies. Definitely go check this out. It's worth it. Um, that'll be uh, it from us this week. Next week, hopefully, we'll be filming an episode where we start getting into the Halloween spirit. Probably do something on the creepy, dark do we side. Have to? Yes, because I like Halloween. <sighs> We'll call oh, Brain Critic. Amazing. I mean, come on. Can we do just one Halloween film and then call it a day? And Maybe. One? He just said creepy. He didn't say it had to be Halloween. -ish. It didn't have to be Halloween. We could do just horror if you want to do horror. horror I'm not creepy. crazy about horror. Horror. We'll figure this out later. Just tune in. Just stay tuned in. Tune in next week when we review The Evil Dead. No. 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 <laughs> not no. The Evil Dead. No. Oh, not that movie. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned to Anchor TV and be on the lookout for the next episode of Brain Critic. See you guys soon. Bye, guys. Peace. Really? I think that was caught. Peace? What, the peace? The peace. peace. I don't know.